sometimes in life, um, you just stink. I'm out here just winning, right? What am I, seven under right now? One, two, testing, one, two. Well, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. This is crazy. I'm actually over here in Utah. Most of you guys know why I'm here. I'm dialing in uh, a different kind of way, and I'm gonna go do, what is that? Give me a second. How you doing? <laughs> Cheetos. We're actually gonna go play golf, and these are golf clubs that we got. These are the ones in Madison's garage. So these are the ones that we're gonna take. God, they're kind of heavy. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. What was I saying? What? <laughs> But no, seriously, we're gonna go golf, we're gonna go find a golf course, we're gonna hit the range a little bit, we're gonna warm up. Haven't played golf in a while, nine holes. Give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a course vlog. Uh, da, 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 da. This person's very confused as to what I'm currently doing. Don't ask. We're gonna see what we can shoot. I mean, I wanna call it a beat my record, but essentially I wanna call it me trying to golf and see if I can still hit the ball around a little bit. Yeah, we've got these old clubs, literally old tailor-made burners. I mean, we're gonna have to see what happens. I mean, we could call it the old club challenge where I, whoo, it's hot. Where I use old clubs and I try and shoot a good score, but this is I'm sure you're confused as to what this is Madison's house where I'm here. Yes, most of you know I mean Madison been talking for a while and now we're We're like dating or whatever, you know, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point Let's get right in the action that way. All right, so I don't have a lot of time, but uh, yeah, All right, we'll figure it out Come on. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. So yeah, again, these clubs I got out of the garage from way down under from way down under You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna use these All the clubs are a little different. See what I'm saying? I got no godforsaken clue what I'm using in the bag right now. Bunch of clubs that we found in the garage somewhere. That's what we're using. We're gonna try and beat, what is it, two? Two, three under? Whatever, the, whatever it is. Whatever it is. That's what we gotta try and beat with these old clubs. The driver's good. Pitching wedge is good. Maybe it's a driver P wedge kind of day. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get involved here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. It's a nine hole course and I got old clubs and I don't know the course. This is a par four, about 390 yards. It's pretty much just dead straight. I think I'm gonna take it over that big tree right there as you can see, way back in the back. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was a missile. All right, so this is where my balls landed. Again, I got no idea what this course is or where anything is located, so I kind of just hit the crap out of it, and wherever it lands, I'm gonna go find it and hit it. But that's what we're looking at. We got a green side bunker right there, and we got the pin. I got a couple of these uh, annoying little trees in my way. Whatever about those, but that's what we're looking at. So hopefully, I can get this up and down for birdie and start our day off. One under, par. That would be great, fantastically perfect, quite frankly. Again, sorry, you know, it's all setting it up and you guys, I know it's probably pretty boring, but interesting. All right, I have not hit this club today. Be pretty good there. That's long, dang. All right, we're putting though. We got a birdie look. All right, and there is where my ball has landed, folks. A little long, like I said, but we've got this downhill look for a birdie. Let's see if we can't make it. I'm not hitting the clubs bad right now, so I'm very excited about that. Pull left to right. Pull left to right and in. Woo! That's a birdie. Just like I said. What did I say? I said I'm starting off with a birdie. Don't don't think I'm not doing what I say when I say it sometimes. But this is your chance now. Subscribe if you have not. I think like 49 to 50% of you are not even subscribed. So what are you even doing? Turn on the bell notifications and come join me on my experience here. Again, I'm out here in Utah and now I'm golfing and it's freaking nice out here. And this is hole number two. It's a par four, 301 yards. So it's technically reachable for me because this was like 390 or three something. And I literally hit it on this tee box and had a sand wedge in. So if I can smack this some buck up there and put the horse lips on it, we can get involved a different kind of way. Let's do it. We're gonna hit a three iron because I got no idea where this hole goes. Yeah. All right. All right, that was pretty good. Could be fairway. It could be in a bunker somewhere. I don't. No, but I do know this. I'm striking it pretty well right now. From the drive to this chip to that three iron. Again, never use these clubs. Sorry. 
Never used these clubs. Did I seriously just apologize to an inanimate object? Yes, you did. Clubs before in my life, and I'm hitting them really well right now. So let me know if you guys ever do stuff like that. You ever just go in your garage, and you're just like, yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah. Like I said, didn't know anything about it. I thought I saw water on the little pamphlet that they read. Well, guess what? There's two little, there's a Garrett and Steven swimming out there. Bradley, you wanna, you wanna put them in there swimming around, their little toes and whatever? But there's a water right here and the range is right over, but look at that view. I mean, you've gotta be kidding me. Look at this. The mountains in Utah are absolutely beautiful. But like I said, we're in the middle of the fairway here. Boom, that's where my ball has landed. And I, again, I have a wet shot into the screen. And I'm sorry for the people that are in front of me, but I literally have no clue where anything is. Let's see if I can't put this sunbuck pretty close. Front pin, gonna be a little tricky. I s It's not what I thought was gonna happen. So again, I now have another birdie putt and we could potentially start off with two under par with my first two holes. Let's see what happens. And that's where my ball is landing on the back edge of the green and I now have a birdie putt. Once again, let's see if we can't go two for two. Another left to right. Oh, sit. Whoa, that was really weird. That broke quite a bit. And now I have a little bit of room left for par. I gotta try to make this, stay one under. It's gonna break back up right. God, this putter is so weird. Give it a chance at least. Look at that thing broke back. Not what you wanna see. These ducks are starting to piss me off. What are you looking at? That's what I thought. Dang, dang, dang. All right, we're back to even par. That kind of sucks. Man, all right, hole three. All right, and after my pitiful performance there on the first two holes, we're now hole three, it's 160 yards. And it's a pretty straightforward hole, as you can clearly tell. Literally, the mountains in the background is literally amazing. That's where the hole is right there. I've got my 48 degree AK, my pitching wedge. Steven, you'd be proud of me. And I gotta get this next to the hole. You know what, let's just make it since we're here. See the mountains? Are you seeing the mountains? Things are crazy. I don't know, like I got no clue. I think that's pretty good though. And there's the reality of it, folks, short. I mean, it said 160. I thought I played at 160. I guess I didn't, huh. Okay, let's get up and down for par then. Oh, I think I'm gonna putt this. Dang it. Overall, good putt. I can still make that for par. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this in. I mean, these greens, you guys, these greens are soft. That's actually a really good lag, but not even gonna cap. I mean, that's crazy. That literally just lipped out. You win some and you lose quite a bit. One over. <sighs> It's all right, you know what? At the end of the day, you win a lot and you lose a lot, and that's fine. We're here, hole four, it's 136 yards, and I'm playing from the tips as well out here. 136 yards from the tips, and I've got my, my pitching wedge again. I'm gonna have to take some off of it, because that was 160 and I was just short of the green. So, let's see what happens here. There, you can see the pin, Zoom, right up there. You can see it. Try and draw this one in there a little bit. Cut, just, well, sit right there. I don't know. I don't know if it's good and I don't know if it's bad. And that's kind of bad because I kind of want to know what the heck I'm doing. It was a great swing. The swing's looking fine. Eyeballs dialed in. I wonder what Madison's doing right now. Hmm. All right, my ball landed just long of this hill here. You can't see it on camera. Honestly, not as bad as I thought it would be. There's a pin right here. So we were gonna have ourselves a little bit of a chip chop chip and I think it'll be pretty decent. Let's see what happens. Sit. Ah, we can't see it because it went behind you guys. It's a pretty decent position. Let's see if I can't make this. Why is my camera like, why does it seem tilted? Maybe I'm tilted. Tilted towers. <laughs> Pulled it. I keep pulling it. I mean, I figured coming in, putting was going to be an issue. And uh, not going to lie to you, it is. Grab. Greeny grab. 
All right, and I made bogey on that hole because I'm really good at golf. Clearly, I'm two over right now, but we can come back. This hole is 116 yards, and it's kind of, it looks kind of like a fun hole. So, let's see what happens. You can see the hole right there, right? So, it's kind of an elevated little tee box. <laughs> you know, bro? Guys, gotta go. Like, I don't even see a land. I don't know. <sighs> Sometimes in life, um, you just stink. Yeah. All right, so apparently I landed short and right. Because there's water, trickle, trickle, right on over there. And the pin's actually right there, so it's kind of in a tough position for me to get at, but not anything that I cannot handle. That doesn't even make any sense. Golf game, it's really good right now. Dang it. That's, look at that. You know, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just disappointed in my performance. But that's okay, because I've not been golfing a lot. Not a good excuse. That was actually kind of pitiful. I think many people would have liked a better one. But that's okay. <laughs> yes. Well, clearly, my ball. Really great position behind the hole. Just right about there. So. That was a good attempt, kind of. I'm out here just winning. Right? What am I, seven under right now? Life will knock you down. You can choose whether or not you want to get back up. And I choose to get back up. <laughs> Excuse me. Hole six is only 245 yards. So I'm, I'm definitely driving this. But again, I don't know how far these clubs go. So I'm going to hit driver and try to dial it back just a little bit and get it to the green, I guess. What is going on? That's what we're looking at. And yes, that's literally the cart path. That's where it kind of goes. Oh, I was dead straight. That was literally dead straight, right through the trees. This club might go in the bag. Don't know what it is, don't really care. It's going in. I've hit two missiles with it and I don't know how. Crap. Ah. <clears throat> well, um, I guess it kind of went through the tree better than I thought. Sorry, I gotta try and be quiet. There's people around me that are golfing. So this is where my ball landed. Let's get up and down. Sit. Oh, that literally almost went in. And I know you couldn't see it. Sometimes I'm good at golf. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I said, hit a really good shot. Actually, rolled up here quite nice. Let's see if we can't make this for birdie. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm good at golf. I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna to you. You're gonna leave it short. Great shot, Matt. No, I know you're the best. No, I literally know. Ah, sorry, this is kind of have to be rushed. There's people kind of everywhere. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm three over, two over. Bradley, you let him know, because you're the man. Kind of a beast, I know. I know you guys are, I know. I know what you guys are thinking. How does this guy do it constantly on a daily basis? I don't know. <laughs> Seven. I think it's 282 yards. And again, I have no idea where to hit this shot. So I've got my nine iron in hand and I'm just gonna hit it straight and hopefully it's somewhere in the fairway so I have a chance to do something with something somewhere. See what happens. That was such an aggressive line. I literally just took that over these trees. Right there. And I'm not kidding when I say this, you can play this whole entire course with probably a pitching wedge. Like I have a wedge in. I mean, let's try to make a birdie, like no cap. Go, go. Of course that's short. Just like me, right? Just like me. I don't know what's going on, but I, I mean, I hit the green, go me, right? But I gotta make, I gotta make some things happen. <sighs> you guys, you guys, I don't know what's going on with the game, but I can't really complain because again, I have not been playing like at all. So this is the first time I've played in such a long time. So we're just trying to get, and I'm playing with, I don't even know what I'm playing with, clubs that w walk around and stuff. I got this for birdie. Hit the ball. Honestly, pretty good putt. Honestly, pretty good putt. Pretty good lag putt. Another par. Um, that's obviously, that's a gimme. That's one foot, but dang it. Here, I'll do, watch this. Just watch, shut up and watch. See, clearly a gimme putt. That's kind of tough with one hand and a camera in your hand. I'm not gonna lie, that was tough, but that was gimme. All right, so I'm back at the house. Unfortunately, I had to cut it two holes short because they were doing some redoing apparently on hole eight, nine, and it's only a nine hole course. So I had to kind of cut it short there, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. The game, it needs some work. It does need a little bit of work. Um, obviously, you know, it's kind of in all shambles right now, but uh, that's all right. I was, I was using these, you know, clubs that we had in the garage here. 
and uh, that driver, it's going in my bag. I don't know why, but I didn't really hit it bad once. So, but yeah, no, it was a lot of fun going out there and playing. And hopefully you guys are working on your golf game too, because I don't want to see no, I don't want to see no scrubs. Is that TLC? I keep quoting TLC. Oh, such a, the other guy, such a good movie. Uh, it's a classic, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, slap your little chicken fingers on that subscribe button. And that's it. Peace.